As an inventor myself, I've already talked about two of the greatest electrical inventors of all time on this show, Edison and Tesla. And the reason why we talked about them is they fit very conveniently onto the surface of one of our Tesseract dice that all these episodes have been about, but what about all the other great inventors who couldn't fit nicely onto a little 16 millimeter square surface? Inventors like Archimedes, Leonardo da Vinci, the Wright brothers, Alexander Graham Bell, all of these are some of the greatest and most impactful inventors of all time, and it'd be a shame if we didn't didn't talk about them just because they wouldn't fit on the surface of the dice. We're going to be devoting an episode today to different inventors, and today we're going to be talking about the first on the list, Archimedes. Because Archimedes was alive so long ago, you may not have heard that much about him, but I can guarantee you have heard a story about him, and you'll remember it with one single word. Eureka. Archimedes is probably best known for the Archimedes principle, stating that if you put an object into water, the volume of that object is proportionate to the amount of water it displaces. He was charged by the king with finding out how much gold was actually in a crown he was given, or if people had substituted a cheaper metal, like silver, into the crown in order to cheat him. Archimedes knew what a certain volume of gold would weigh, and also what a certain volume of silver would weigh. And if he could determine the volume of a crown, he could determine how much it should weigh if it were made completely of gold. Legend has it that he sat down in in a public bathhouse, and as he lowered himself in the tub, he saw that the water on the edges overflowed over the edge, and he got up, ran through the streets naked, yelling, Eureka, Greek for, I have found it. He discovered that the principle worked with the crown, and he also discovered that it wasn't made of pure gold, and we're left with the Archimedes principle today. Unfortunately for such a great inventor, we remember him mostly by a single word and running naked through the streets of Greece, but there are a lot of other things he's very, very well known for. Archimedes comes from a town called Syracuse, and he spent much of his life defending the little island from all the people around him who would seek to overthrow Syracuse. He also invented a hydraulic screw that would turn and raise water from a lower level to a higher level, for instance, from in the ground up to the city. He also invented a giant crane-like claw that would go down to the water pick boats up and just tip them over so that all of the sailors would be forced to abandon ship. It was also rumored that he'd made a death beam where he had 300 soldiers shine their shields at a nearby ship causing it to burst into flames and while Mythbusters tested this they found that it would smoke but not burst into flames but at the very least it would probably blind all of the sailors and if they saw smoke while partially blinded they might be forced to jump ship anyways. But Archimedes single greatest contribution to science was his calculation of the area of a circle. He basically took this advanced calculus concept that hadn't been invented yet called the Riemann sum, which is saying, if I can't figure out the area underneath this curve, I can put a bunch of rectangles underneath it. And if I have all of those rectangles there, whatever the area of the rectangles all added together would be, would be pretty darn close to the area underneath that curve. And that calculus concept hadn't been invented yet, but what he did was he put, first put a square in, then a pentagon, then an octagon, then a decagon, and so on and so forth until he had an 87-sided figure taking up the inside of the space of the circle. And he calculated the area of each, which gave him this logarithmic function. And this line that it approached would be the area of a circle. And he used that to calculate pi, 3.14159, a very, very important number in all of science. And he's been so protective over those circles, it was like his lifelong dream that he was even rumored when attacked by a Roman soldier at the end of his life, while they were taking him away to say, don't touch my circle. Even though we know from examining the text that he said something a little bit more like, please, I beg of you, do not disturb these referring to the circles he'd drawn in the ground. Anyways, Archimedes was a great inventor, and it's sad that he isn't remembered as such. But thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to check us out on Kickstarter, and make sure to like and share this video. Because the greatest compliment you can give us, other than getting a pair of our awesome Tesseract dice from us, is by liking and sharing this video with a friend or a family member. And make sure to check us out tomorrow when we're going to talk about Leonardo da Vinci. And before then, don't forget, don't touch my circles.